Just how impressive was this win over the New York Jets in your mind? So I'm not really looking too much into the opponent. I'm looking into the fact that we got to win. Um, obviously, three and five to start the year was not the ideal record we were going for. No team expects to be under 500 uh, just about halfway through the season. Um, of course, we still are under 500 at four and five, even with the victory. We put up 45 points on offense, which is great. Um, obviously, the offense looked absolutely incredible on both sides in terms of running the ball and throwing. Uh, but I'm just looking at the number on the defense, man. And, uh, we gave up 20 points in the second half. Granted, I know at one point it was 42 to 16 um, in the third quarter, so I'm not necessarily infuriated. But I knew I do know that Eberflus was just trying to, you know, play it safe, keep everything in front of him, not trying to give up the big play. And I understand we play a majority of his own uh, for the entirety of the game. But when you really go and look at it, and the way that our defense kind of kind of took their feet off the gas pedal. I mean, the pass rush seemed to kind of like settle down um, their second string, excuse me, their third string quarterback in Josh Johnson found ways to kind of carve up our defense. And he threw the ball for three seventeen and three touchdowns, well over a 60% completion percentage. He was absolutely carving it up. And right before he came in, um, obviously Mike White, the, you know, talked about Jets quarterback from all of last week, or should I say all of this week, uh, he came in and he absolutely lit it up as well. So not looking good on the passing defense on our side. We kept the rush defense pretty solid under 100 yards in terms of for in terms of keeping the the Jets uh, under 100. But I'm happy we got the W. Frank must have heard my video because holy shit, 172 yards on the ground for Jonathan Taylor, over 270, I think over 260 or something or 270 for the Colts as a team between Naeem Hines. Uh, Jonathan Taylor and Carson Wentz, which is great. It just goes to show what everything I said is the truth. Run the ball, we win football games. It's literally that simple. I know Jonathan Taylor had the majority of his uh, rushing yards coming off of 178-yard touchdown, but if you take away 78 from 172, that's still 90-some-odd yards of rushing before that big run. So Jonathan Taylor was doing his thing. Uh, so overall, happy with the victory. We can be better. We can do better. We're still we're coming back from injury on the defensive side. Kari Willis was just put on IR. Obviously, um, Julian Blackman's out for the year with a torn uh, Achilles. Um, I mean, we just continue to lose corners left and right, literally. I mean, I think Xavier Rhodes left, left this game as well. Taekwon Lewis is out for the season with a knee injury. So, I mean, we've legitimately just been rotating bodies at this point, picking uh, players and veterans up off of the wire and kind of a, almost like a fantasy football team. So we will see what happens go forward for the rest of the year. We have a okay schedule coming up. I know that we play the Bucks coming up soon, as well as the Bills next week. So it's going to be a tough schedule for the next month or so. But um, if we continue to play offense the way we have, I think the defense will get better as time goes on. And uh, I'm looking forward to the rest of it. Bro, I'm not even a Colts fan, and I'm more excited about this win than you are. You know, granted, they're coming off of a really tough loss against the Titans just a couple of days ago where they seemingly had control of the game, but they just found a way to let it slip. And, I mean, Jesus Christ, they got it into full gear tonight. I mean, Kevin, that first half performance that the Colts had was nothing short of perfection. I mean, four drives in the first half, and they scored four touchdowns on all of them. I mean, Jonathan Taylor was an absolute beast the entire night. I mean, even Naheem Hines, he got the game rolling for the Colts with that nice 35-yard run to put them up 7 nothing. You know, Carson had a great game. You know, he was relatively efficient with his passes. You know, had three touchdowns, almost 275 yards passing. But, Kevin, I got to be honest with you. The real MVP from that game against the Jets was that offensive line. That offensive line was outstanding. The amount of double teams that they were getting, they were just blocking those perfectly. Not only were they winning the line of scrimmage, they were dominating. It's one thing to, to win your double team, it's to possibly get it into the second level of the defense. They were pushing the guy that they were double teaming past the linebackers, like six, seven yards back. I mean, when you're able to get that type of push from your offensive line it just opens up those run lanes for Naheem Hines Jonathan Taylor and it makes it so much easier for them to be able to be successful running the football and that was really where I thought the Colts just absolutely dominated the entire game they won the game up front offensively and the Jets had no answer for it whatsoever and 
you know, when I look at Frank Reich, you know, coming off of the tumultuous week that he had as far as his play calling went against the Titans, I thought he did a masterful job tonight with the play calling. They did a great job of running it. They definitely did a nice job at integrating solid pass plays. I thought they got the good play action uh, pass plays working really well. Uh, there was one play in particular where the Jets were just loaded in the box. This was kind of like in the third or fourth quarter. They're expecting a, f a run from Jonathan Taylor. Carson just whips it out with the uh, with a play action pass, and he just hits Mo Ali Cox on the flat and ends up getting like a 20, 25 yard reception out of it, uh, bro. Like all in all, I thought the the Colts they showed up tonight, and great that they needed to because had they lost this game. I know you as the Colts fan, you would have probably lost your shit had they gone down to the Jets. But, you know, the only thing I could really kind of say that maybe a critical point for them is the one that you mentioned with the defense kind of letting their foot off the pedal in the second half. But, I mean, listen, when you're up by like four possessions after Jonathan Taylor got that huge 80-yard uh, run that pretty much blew the door off this game, I mean, when you're up by four possessions... Could be hard to kind of give that up, but that's really kind of the only thing I could kind of say. You know, they did they did allow the Jets to score some points in the second half, but all in all, I thought the Colts had a great game. This is a huge bounce back game. It does keep them somewhat relevant in the AFC South. We got to see how the Titans respond after losing Derrick Henry for potentially the rest of the season. So I don't want to say the Colts are out of it yet. They have a long way to go as far as trying to get back at the top of the AFC South. But at least this is a step in the right direction. And it does really kind of show me the, the potential that this team has. If they just continue to run the ball, they did a great job with it tonight. And I think they just found a, a winning formula here. If you run the ball consistently, if your offensive line is winning that line the way that they did against the Jets, that could be something to build on. You know, just whether or not that Frank follows it up, you know, next week. You know, but that'll be something that we monitor for the rest of the season. But this is a great performance with the Colts. I got nothing else to say other than that.